Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for September 4th. September 4th is the 247th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 248th in leap years, with 118 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is appellation. Mm -hmm. Appellation is a noun that means a name or a title. It can also refer to the action of giving a name to a person or thing. The word appellation can also refer to what is called the designation of origin, usually in reference to wine and the grapes used to, to uh, make it, the, the grapes grown to make that wine. Now, this is not to be confused with appellation, which refers to a mountain range in eastern North America. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to mention that links to my research are included in the show notes. I ask you to go ahead and click that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others. You can do that with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. <laughs> and with that, we will jump right on into history with September 4th in 1282 when Peter of Aragon became the king of Sicily. This was a surprise to me. I never thought about Sicily having a king. He actually was originally from and ruled in an area in modern-day Spain, and ruled in an area that is now known as Spain. I don't think they called it Spain back then, but what do I really know? On September 4, 1607, a thing called the Flight of the Earls took place in Ireland. It seems like a funny little collection of word salads, so I looked it up. And right at the top of the page in Wikipedia, Flight of the Earls, it says, not to be confused with Flight of the Wild Geese. <laughs> no actual air flight took place during this event, though. Two actual earls, Hugh O'Neill and Rory O'Donnell, and 90 of their followers left Ireland, apparently headed for the European mainland. There was some disagreement and, I don't know, you know, uh, oh boy, more, more contention and blah, blah, blah. And I guess they thought it would just be best to get the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> so they left, and, and I think someone writing about it historically called it the Flight of the Earls. And um, I don't know if they ever made it back to Ireland or not. On September 4th, 1882, the Pearl Street Station in New York City became the first power plant to supply electricity to paying customers. On September 4, 1888, George Eastman registered the trademark Kodak and received a patent for his camera that used roll film. This is the birthday of American radio host Paul Harvey, born September 4, 1918. He was born right up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I didn't know that before. I always enjoyed listening to Paul Harvey, and I've placed a link in the show notes to uh, one of his recordings, one of his talks. Paul Harvey lived to the age of 90. September 4th, 1923, saw the maiden flight of the first U.S. airship, the USS Shenandoah. There are several items of World War II news today. It happened on September 4th, and various years. If you're interested in that sort of thing, feel free to follow up through the link in the show notes. That'll be that Wikipedia link for September 4th and follow it on down till you start seeing World War II. There were several items there on this day in history. This is the birthday of a man named George William Gray, born September 4th, 1926. He was a British chemist, and we have him to thank for the development of liquid crystal technology that has made so many of our modern displays possible. He lived to the age of 86. 
Queen Wilhelmina of the Netherlands abdicated for health reasons on September 4, 1948. Attention all you race car fans, on September 4th, 1950, the first 500-mile NASCAR race, the Southern 500, took place at Darlington Raceway in South Carolina. On September 4th, 1951, the first transcontinental television broadcast took place, San Francisco from the Japanese Peace Treaty Conference. Oh my goodness, it was September 4th of 1957 when the governor of Arkansas called out the National Guard to prevent African-American students from enrolling in Little Rock Central High School, resulting in the lawsuit Cooper v. Aaron the following year. This is the birthday of American radio and television host Drew Penske, born September 4th, 1958. Also known as Dr. Drew, he is actually an internist and addiction medicine specialist. In fact, you may have seen him on any one of a number of his rehab TV shows, in this case being uh, uh, addiction rehabs rather than old house rehabs. <laughs> Dr. Drew turned 62 in 2020. Also the birthday of Damon Wayans Sr., born September 4th, 1960. He's a stand-up comedian actor, writer, producer, member of the Wayans family of entertainers. Damon Wayans turned 60 in 2020. And I remember seeing, but I, I didn't catch the year and I didn't get it in my script, but I believe this is also Beyonce's birthday, September 4th. Something like maybe 1981. Let's look that up right quick. We don't want to get that wrong. Yep, that's right, 1981, September 4th, 1981. That means that she's turning 39 in 2020. All right, well, that ordinarily would come a little bit later in the uh, day in history, but there it is, so. <laughs> the Fourth Road Bridge near Edinburgh in Scotland officially opened on September 4th, 1964. At the time, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world outside the United States. On September 4th, 1972, Mark Spitz became the first competitor to win seven medals at a single Olympic Games. The Price is Right premiered on CBS on September 4th, 1972. And when I saw that, I, my first thought was, I thought they were on a lot longer than that. And as it happens, there was indeed an older original version of The Price is Right, started in 1956. Back in 1956, it started on NBC, and in 1963, it moved to ABC, and it played there until 1965. The concept lay dormant until it returned to television on this day in 1972, to become the longest running game show on American television. Sadly, production had to be suspended in 2020 as a result of COVID-19. And since this particular show does require a studio audience, it will remain suspended until further notice. September 4th, 1985 marks the date of the discovery of Buckminster Fullerene the first fullerene molecule of carbon. Also known as C60, the C60 molecule has a cage-like fused ring structure that resembles a soccer ball made of 20 hexagons and 12 pentagons. It was named after Buckminster Fuller who designed geodesic dome structures that look similar to the C60 molecule. Google was founded on this date in 1998 by Stanford University students Larry Page and Sergey Brin. And the Oakland Athletics won their 20th consecutive game, an American League record. And I think that's going to do it for us today. I hope you learned something you didn't know before. I know I sure did. I always do. <laughs>
As always, links to my research are included in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with others with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. And be sure and let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Not, did I say that right? Okay, let's do that again. This is what happens when you don't clean up your script. <laughs> I might leave that part out. <laughs> I don't know how all that's going to go together or if it's even going to make it to the video. We'll just see. That's not going to go. Yeah, we're going to cut those out. And that'll all be laying on the cutting room floor. <laughs> so I'll just do that whole thing over. <laughs> that might not make it into the video. We'll see. Changing it up. <laughs>